I know that there are also uh, more and more organizations that try to 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 be able to feed uh, food waste to to animals again. Yeah. Because I don't know uh, the animal byproduct directive um, from the European Union uh, almost ten years ago now forbid to feed uh, K three waste waste with an animal products to animals and because of a lot of diseases and you know, for a reason. But these organizations they say, hey, in Japan, in in South Korea, um, they know about the problems of E. coli, of salmonella. Therefore, they cook the waste, the food waste, and then feed it to the pigs as, as it's safe then. Yeah. Do, do you think this would be a good approach? Or um, you personally, if you eat, are you vegetarian or do you eat meat uh, once, mm -hmm. once in a while? Occasionally, yeah, yeah, a few times a year. Would you have a problem if you know that the pig, uh, whatever you're eating, uh, has eaten your food waste before, or do you think this is the perfect cycle? Maybe. I uh, I think uh, well, a lot of the pigs humans eat didn't have a very great life, and you don't want to know what they had to eat. So I think uh, the food waste would often have been a better option if you really uh, think about it. So I'm not too concerned about that. And I mean, it used to be the case here too. I remember when I uh, grew up in a hotel in Switzerland, we still had a big blue barrel where we put in food waste and the farmer would pick it up. And he was a pig farmer, yeah. So South I think it used to be like that, so it can be again. And especially in Japan and South Korea, if they figured out a way to do it safely, I think Europe shouldn't be so hesitant to uh, learn. But as we can see now uh, during the pandemic, Europe is very much uh, hesitant to learn from Asia. <laughs>